Hello and hola amigos! Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial I will be showing you how I made this very special stuffed animal in form of a flamingo. So as always I start off with drafting of a basic pattern and then I keep on working on the fine lines. So here I have my pattern uh, with um, three different parts. Um, later on I will be cutting the mm, beak part as well. So I have three parts um, and these are the, ma the materials I will be using later on. So let me introduce you to my inspiration of this video. It's uh, this little guy from Fisher Price and we just love this toy. We recommended it to so many friends because it's just so helpful when it comes to sleep time to make it so much easier. So I want to give you a heads up on this video. Because I haven't done this before, uh, I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes, so please bear with me. Um, basically, I'm showing you my whole uh, thinking process and how this pattern actually, you know, becomes uh, from a, a two-dimensional just pattern piece of paper, um, how I create a 3D a stuffed animal. So here I just noticed that I forgot or I haven't thought about uh, this. So I'm adding, I'm measuring and I'm adding a stripe along, um, you know, the, the upper part and the bottom part. Um, so it kind of creates a more three-dimensional uh, look. And then, of course, I also need to think about adding a lining for uh, this piece um, where the light and the music comes from. And then you'll also see me um, note down several um, measurements. This is because um, at the beak part, I don't want this, the piece of fabric, the stripe, to be that uh, thick so I made it just slightly thinner. Then as usual I cut out my pattern with a little seam allowance. Here I'm cutting the upper part, um, the upper stripe for the flamingo and then I also noticed that um, the part below needs to be double because I need to create an opening for the lining and of course I need to do the same thing for the beak as well. Now for the beak, I do not want it to be that thick, so I'm trying to figure out um, the, how thin the stripe uh, should, should be. So I'm just um, testing out, you know, at, at the very, uh, um, at the pointy part of the beak, uh, it should be a little more narrow, so here I'm cutting away a little more fabric to adjust that. And for the lining, I want to make sure that it's fitted, so I'm creating a pattern based on the measurements and then I ultimately can, can adjust it if needed. This little piece represents the wing of the flamingo and I will use this as a panel so the light uh, can shine through the material. And for that I'm using another piece of fabric, the same type. I'm just gonna sew along the um, outline, then I'm basically cutting it out uh, and turning it inside out. This is how it looks like after I ironed it. Um, then I cut out um, two pieces of another fabric that is uh, 
quite uh, transparent this will allow the light to shine through it And here I can take care of the beak, um, sewing it on right side to right side, of course. And this step I forgot to film uh, that I actually put on already um, the stripe that goes um, above. So I sew that together and this is how it uh, looks like. If I would be to redo this project, um, I think I'll do, I'll make some changes to my process of uh, putting things together. So I think I'll be um, sewing all the stripes together and then uh, put the front and back panel, um, so attach it to the stripe. Here I'm just cutting in some notches because of the curvy part, so it can pop out uh, better. And here's the part where I'm attaching the bottom part, so the two stripes go uh, right side to right side. This is how it looks like with all the pins inside. All I have to do is just uh, sew it together. And this is the problem that I was telling you before. Uh, I think I wouldn't have had this if I would have sewn the stripes together um, at first. I had to be really careful when I sewn it together and it looks like this. It, it's not the best solution, but it works. Next part was also a little bit tricky because I had to make sure that I align um, the, the seams from, from the two stripes with the peak of, uh, of the beak so they all meet in the same point. Then this is the lining so I'm just testing it out if uh, it fits and how it fits and just sewing it together. And one last try before I'm attaching it to the body. Attaching the lining to the body is very important because I didn't want the battery to uh, shift around inside. Here I'm cutting off the excess of the lining so I can merge it to the bottom part. And then I also need to make sure I close this up, I sew this together, but I leave this little opening so I have space to put it in the filling. The next step would be before I put in the filling, I'm marking the eye. Uh, of the flamingo and then I'm just gonna embroider it with a double uh, threaded needle. And this is how it turned out. The next step is putting in the filling. While I was filling it, I noticed that it was still very hollow, so I had to put in the battery, the actual battery, to know how much uh, filling I still actually need. This is where I noticed that I made a mistake. I didn't leave a flap where I could uh, attach uh, one part of the um, Velcro. Another mistake that um, occurred is I bought self-adhesive Velcro, um, but I still wanted to make sure it's very sturdy and in place um, even after washing. So I tried to sew it on with a machine, but it's almost impossible. So I actually had to sew it on by hand just to make it uh, more secure. It still felt very um, soft, so I wanted to make it a little bit more firm, so I added even more filling. 
And here is the almost finished product. All I need to do is um, hand stitch the opening and then it's done. I hope you enjoyed the video and who knows, um, maybe you even learned something from my mistake so you don't do them. Please comment and hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this video and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.